Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this bubbly little beaded fidget ring. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, I've got my wire and my beads ready. Got some 20 gauge round wire. I cut about nine inches. That should be plenty for what we're doing. I'm gonna make three rows of beads. The middle row, I'm gonna have a six millimeter bead. Mine all happen to be copper, but you can use whatever beads you'd like. Glad I have this little mat. Got this mat out to help keep my beads in line. I got four, four millimeter, and I've got six, three millimeter. All right, so I'm gonna have three rows and they're gonna move around. So basically this is kind of like a fidget ring that you can play around with as you're wearing it. I have a ring mandrel here. This'll be helpful. So to begin, you're gonna grab your middle beads, get them in the center as best you can. Mine, I'm gonna have a six millimeter in the middle and four millimeters on either side. I'm gonna get it in the middle here, grab my mandrel, try to make it around a size seven. Wrap it around as evenly as I can. couple times around so the shank has two wires. All right, and then we're gonna have wires coming up on either side of the main wire. You can take your ring off the mandrel for the moment. As you feed your beads on, I'm gonna feed three on one side and three on the other side. Make sure to test your beads out beforehand to make sure they fit a 20 gauge wire. Because that would be a bummer if they don't. Okay. Bring them down and line them up. You're kind of going to wrap them a little loose because if you want to be able to fiddle with them, you want the wires to be on a little on the looser side. So I'm still around the size seven. I'm kind of bringing them out and kind of bending bit of a curve to it. So when I attach them to the sides here, like I said, they'll have room to move around. All three rows here. My ring is kind of getting large might be hard to get the exact size you want, so just kind of check it as you're playing with it. Before you tack them down, make sure they're even. You can flare them out as wide or as tight. You can have them real tight or you can have them real wide. So when you do one side, make sure the other side matches. I'm going to bring the wire over the top on one side and I'm going to bring it through the middle. Hear my thumb popping? Oof. This is where you're going to use some pliers. To press it down, snug up your coil, make a nice even coil. I go about three times around. If 
By the third time, it's hard to use my fingers, so obviously I gotta use my pliers. Before I snip that, I'm gonna go to the other side. Make sure all your beads are in place. And then start bringing it around. They look about even. Through again, even them out and press them down, and then bring them around one more time. Now I'm going to grab my nippers and snip them off at an angle. Oops, I missed that one. Grab your mandrel again, slip it on. If you have a rawhide mallet or something soft, you can give it a little tap. Make sure everything is round. Turn it around. If your coils are loose, they might slide on you, so make sure if it's the correct size you want. To press them down where they're tight so it doesn't loosen up on you. Kind of a fun little ring. What do you think? Should I oxidize it or should I leave it bare copper? I made this other one too. It's a little tighter. Maybe I'll oxidize one and have you guys decide. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I oxidized this one, but I didn't like the process at all. And I had forgotten these three millimeter beads, which I got from Fire Mountain Gems. They do not oxidize. So it was kind of a waste of time. So I had to go back and shine up the other beads to match the three millimeter beads. The rest of my beads I got from ballchain.com and they oxidize just fine. Plus it just adds extra steps to making your ring as far as oxidizing and polishing and you might not want to put that much effort into a quick simple ring, but it's all up to you. All right, so my question of the week is just, are you a fidgeter? Do you like to fidget and play with things? as you're thinking and stuff like that, let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one.